Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello, hello. How is everyone this evening? I am Eve with The Baby's Booty and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our live tonight. Hello, how is everyone? Come in, come in. We welcome you here. <laughs> So I have had a pretty good day today, been very busy, got to lay in a good little bit. Um, so well rested for the lack of better words, but that's going to change this week because I will be headed to Miami on Wednesday. So I'll be going to Miami to teach uh, digitizing class with Chroma Software in Miami at Racoma headquarters. How cool is that? So. If you haven't looked into Deco Summit, Deco Summit is going to be held this weekend uh, and the tickets are still on sale from what I understand. And I do have a link in the description below if you're interested in coming to Miami to see me. That would be really neat. Oh, right. How cool is that? So at any rate, let me get into the introductions. I also wanna let you know if this is your first time here, one of the things that I love to do with this channel is say hello and greet the folks that are in here. And it takes a little while because there's a lot of folks in here. So if you don't wanna hear a bunch of greetings and hey, and how you doing and how you mama nims, then fast forward probably about 20, 30 minutes and then we'll get right into the meat of the sublimation discussion that we'll be having tonight where we're gonna be sublimating some really cool stuff. Yay! I got a customer order that I have to pound out before I leave to go out of town. So we are going to sublimate part of that together and have fun because she ordered some really cool stuff and I wanted you guys to see it. So let's get into the chat. Hello, Miss Lucy, how are you? Scooby-Doo is in the house. Hey, love, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Charmaine, well, hello, Charmaine, how are you? Angelia Baker says hello to even the Hoop Group. Hello to you as well. Tanya, you, how are you? Debbie Wisdom, well, hey, Debbie Wisdom. So this is what, like the fifth Debbie we have in here. Cool beans, welcome. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> A garden for mom. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Robin Bryant, Debbie D, Nancy Faust, So Crafty, Marianne Lear. Hello, how are you? Welcome to all of you. Miss Debbie Kidd. Hey, love, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So welcome. And Andriana. Hello, welcome. Haven't seen your name before. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Tanyu. I decided to go no mess, no fuss, no have to do nothing <laughs> while I'm out of town. So we braided this stuff right on up. And uh, I guess we're gonna be wearing it like this for quite some time. So thank y'all. Thank you, Miss Robin, Miss Debbie D, Scooby-Doo. Thanks, Mary Ann. <laughs> B-Maze 5, hello from Mississippi. Well, hello, how are you from Mississippi? Welcome to our live. We appreciate you joining us here at the Hoot Group, Willa Allen. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hello to you as well. And I hope to have an awesome trip. I'm super excited about it. Uh, Kingsbury Crafts. Hello. Grand Favor. Hi. How are you? Shamiko Moore. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Haven't seen your name. Leela says, hey, even the Hoop Group. Good to be back after a couple of weeks. We did miss you. So thank you for joining us again and welcome back <laughs> no i i say neato all the time carol coleman hey miss carol coleman how are you i started to call you because of my flight and i'll talk about that later sunny webster says hello how are you welcome thank you for joining us tonight deborah lewis hello gloria colvin hello how are you <laughs> monet erica mcneil uh, Sunny Webster says you got your maker a couple of days ago and you love it. Well, guess what that means? We're going to ring the bell for your new baby. <laughs> Congratulations. Woo! You got a new baby to play with. That Cricut Maker is a nice machine, so you enjoy that. And please be sure to share any of the projects that you're working on with it here at the Hoop Group. We do like to see projects. So the thing with the hoop group is I try to get in there as much as possible. I've been like super busy lately, but if you're in there, go ahead and share your projects. As long as it's not anything 
political or religious or controversial, just fine. You can share your projects. We would love to see them. And what it does, people don't realize you're motivating each other. And you're like, oh man, those towels are cute. You know what? I think I need to do some towels too. And that helps each other say, you know what? Let me, let me get back into the sewing. I've been slack. I've been off a little bit. So go ahead and encourage each other. We love to see your projects. So if you get an opportunity to make something really cool, go ahead and post it in the hoop group. We would love to see it. So congratulations again, Sunny Webster on your Cricut Maker. Yes. PJ Coppets. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you very much. Marianne Lear says, first time catching me live. Well, welcome. We appreciate you being here live with us. Kim, T Kim, Toma? Was it Thoma? I want to make sure I'm saying it right, but Kim Ethan Steele says, hello from Wisconsin. Long, long ways away from me. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining us from Wisconsin. Hope the weather and everything is cool out there. Sheila Cushenberry, hello, hello. How are you? Sheila Cushenberry. <laughs> Marge Campbell, hello. M. Blackwood, hello. How are you? PJ Coppage says, my girls and I like your hair. Thank you. I appreciate that. Trying to have no mess to do anything. I don't want to do anything. I'm going to say that again. Nothing. And then on top of that, this weekend is me and Mr. Baby Booty's 20 year anniversary, y'all. Oh, I had, they had to put the, the summit on my anniversary. How crazy is that? But that's fine he's going to travel with me down there um and we're going down a day technically two days early so we'll have a little bit of time to spend down there but i have another engagement up here uh in charlotte so i'm gonna have to make sure i come back saturday night so i can make that sunday morning and it's like ah, i'm be doing a bunch of traveling but as soon as i get back we'll have a lot of cool things coming our way so i'm super excited about that so as far as sunday's live now that i think about it i may be late um next sunday because i will be traveling back to charlotte to travel back drive back an hour or two out of town spend the day out of town and then come back uh sunday night so i may be a little bit late on sunday <laughs> Manuel, hello, how are you? Suzanne Go Grand Go says, see you next week. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Yas. Shermiko says, new to live, but I stopped the regular videos. Well, welcome to the live. We love having you here. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll try and get to them ASAP. Miss Ethel Smith says, good evening. Look at the hair, love it. Thank you. I appreciate that, Mr. Ethel Smith. <laughs> Monet Wright, hello, hello. Dorothy Gaston says, love your hair. Hello, hashtag hoop group from the STL. Welcome to you, Miss Dorothy Gaston, as always. Miss Bickham says, <laughs> hello, gorgeous to you. How are you? <laughs> I need to talk to you as well. Oh my gosh. Eartha Lewis, thank you. I appreciate that. How are you tonight? Maria, thank you. How are you? how are you how is everyone go ahead let me know um if you know how to do emojis put me a cute emoji on how you're doing a thumbs up or hands in the air or a sunshine or a flower or a cloudy day if it's not such a good day let us know how you feeling i like emojis too <laughs> luann stanton hello to you as well angelia baker thank you debbie d thank you pj copy says i cut mine off <laughs> you talking about your hair I wanted to, I promise y'all, I wanted to cut my hair so bad, man. Okay, so what is this? This is 2019, about to be 20. So I want to say 10 years ago, maybe 12, I cut my hair all the way off. I mean, all the way down. I went to a barber, sat in his chair and said, shave it. So it was really, really short for a long time. But then the husband was like, oh, I like grow your hair out long and I'm sitting here like if I grow my hair you gotta pay to keep it done that's how that's got to work and he did so it's been growing and it's grown um even though right now I got the braids in as you guys have seen and and have been witnessing testimony to but 
I got so aggravated the other day, I started to cut this mess right on back off. And he was like, you can go ahead and cut it. And I'm like, never mind. I don't even want to cut it. <laughs> so I didn't cut it, but I kind of do definitely want to cut my hair. But anyway. Kathleen Dowling, good evening to you as well. Heather Butler from Arkansas, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, let us see, Ms. Beckham, don't push yourself to do live because we know you have so much on your plate. My plate has been over full, overfilling, overflowing for three weeks now. It's actually pretty sad. <laughs> That's why I'm sneaking and working with y'all tonight so that I can get some work done. Uh, Anita Ware, good evening to you as well. Love the dancing emojis. Maria says, you're going to have a good time in Miami. Be sure to go to Miami Beach. Take a romantic boat ride out into the bay. That sounds like fun. Sheila Kushmary might want to take next Sunday off and recuperate. You will probably be wiped out. Even though we would all miss you, you need to take care of yourself too. I appreciate that. I'm going to see how I feel. I'm going to see how I feel. Um, the class fortunately i was going to do like four classes but we dropped it down to two um so because my load is kind of light down there i'm not going to be super busy so i'm just going to be talking and meeting people having a good time i'm going to try and um get some footage down there for you guys to put up a video so that you can see the travel down somewhat of it not too much so y'all won't be bored um and then the getting there touring Rukoma. So Ricoma is an embroidery machine company. They sell embroidery machines. Um, and for those of you not familiar with them, their machines are industrial, right? So I often talk about the difference between industrial and commercial and home-based embroidery machines. And we are really gonna start diving into that here soon, all right, because one of my really good friends that lives near here and she does embroidery is looking to upgrade her embroidery equipment. Actually, two of my um, embroidery companions up here are looking to upgrade their equipment. All right, so one is going to go from a 770 to possibly a six needle, all right? And she asked my opinion. And then the other companion um, is going from a single needle, but she doesn't have uh, the 770. She has a, um, oh gosh, the Joann's Fabrics and Crafts people uh, embroidery machine, like the Di Royale or something like that. But hers is the bigger one, one of the bigger ones. Um, and she's going to upgrade to a multi-needle at some point in time. And then I have a relative that wants to open her own embroidery business up in... Um, Oh gosh, y'all, my brain. Um, up in Washington State, Seattle. That's it. She wants to open up her business in Seattle. And so she called as well, asking my opinion on embroidery machines and what to buy and all of that cool stuff. Hey, Will, welcome. Thank you, Stacy G. Um, so Tammy's Everyday Living says she just received her Recoma MT1501. <laughs> Congratulations on your Ricoma. So the thing is, we definitely want you guys to be well informed. As I tried to do last week on live with Justin, I tried to show you guys the different things that you can do to start your t-shirt business um, and the different ways you can do t-shirts, right? So tonight we'll be talking about sublimation as we have uh, in the past, but we're, we're going to actually see some really cool stuff getting sublimated tonight. But going back to the embroidery machines, I really, really, truly, truly, really <laughs> want you guys to totally understand the ins and the outs of embroidery machine shopping, what's the better deal, what's the best fit, and when it is time for you to go big boy shopping, putting the big girl panties on and, and shelling out thousands and thousands, we are going to talk about your options and what is available to you, right? So one of the coolest trade shows are coming to Charlotte in November, November the 8th and the 9th, um, the NBM show, N is in Nancy, M is in Mary, B, N, NBM, N, I'm sorry, <laughs> Nancy, Barry, Mary. NBM show will be here in Charlotte, right? So the NBM show is going to have 
all of this really cool stuff there. They're going to have every just about embroidery machine company you can think of. They'll have every sublimation machine company you can think of. Direct to garment machines are going to be all over the place. You'll also have vinyl heat presses. You'll have vendors selling vinyl, embroidery thread, um, embroidery hoops, supplies to go with it. Um, you'll also have, what's that, vinyl laser engravers out there with their products. You'll have sign makers out there with their products. I mean, it's just totally awesome show, right? So you, if you were at the NBM show, you could actually walk around and look at all the different embroidery machines that are out there and you can see for yourself because they always have them out there embroidering something usually the biggest hoop or they'll have hats embroidering out there on the floor now the nbm show i have never um and this will be my third time going and i've done research on it i've never seen brother out there okay so to me that speaks volumes all right and we'll get into that in a moment but the industrial machines are plentiful out there and they're out there because those are the machines that are made for running a business all right so if you get into doing embroidery and you get to the place where you're like okay i need two pe770s or like i was i needed two uh four by four embroidery machines so i got the um, SE 425, the SE 400, and the PE 500. Okay, so I ended up getting three and then ended up getting blessing because it was just too much work. And then once I got blessing, it was it was over. It was a wrap. People were like, okay, you got that machine? Okay, we need has, we need this, we need that, we need that. And business just blossomed from there. So one thing I will say, once you get one of those machines, if you have the ability to market yourself and get yourself out there, you'll get the business. I mean, the business is just there. You, you have to sometimes be creative and look for the business, but the business is there, all right? So the thing is, what is the better machine to purchase? Should it be the well-known name brand embroidery machine that you see just about on most of the people's videos youtube videos when they're teaching and when they're showing how to do stuff or should it be one of the industrial machines and what are the drawbacks to that so we'll be getting into that as time goes on um, over the next few weeks and i may do actually a couple of standalone videos on that subject as well uh, because the standalone videos seem to be more popular than the live which i can understand why um so it's imperative in my opinion that you should know what's out there and you should know what you're courting when you are in the market to purchase an embroidery machine and make an informed decision so for instance if i were to tell you you could get a six needle embroidery machine um set up in your home well, not set up, you got to take it home and set it up. <laughs> um, but you'll get your six needle machine. You'll get, you know, maybe a stand, some hoops, the standard hoops that come with it. Maybe a fast frame, possibly the cap driver. And I told you, you could get all of that for $8,200, right? You'd be pretty excited. That's a good deal. You know, now I'm just throwing numbers out there. I don't know what the new numbers are for the six needle embroidery machine. Um, but if I told you that, and you say, okay, I get that price. So then I come back and I tell you, well, you can get a 15 needle, no, actually a seven needle embroidery machine um, that has no restrictions on the hat or the hat hoop, none whatsoever. Whereas the six needle has restrictions on that hat hoop. You can only go, but so big on the hat, you can't do uh, where you're not supposed to do structured caps and you're not supposed to do visors with that particular machine uh, but this other machine with seven needles for about the same price eight thousand dollars eight two hundred you can get hoops you can get extra hoops you can get um, a credit actually for supplies you can get um, your stand your machine and 
the way it's made is very user friendly. You can poop just about anything on that particular machine for the same price. So would you want to do seven needles or would you want to do six needles and pay for a name with the six needles? Or what if I told you you could do a 15 needle embroidery machine for roughly about the same price, maybe a smidge more, 15 needles for a little bit more would you be willing to entertain that thought so we'll be getting into all of that the price breakdowns how the machines work whether it's worth it what happens when it breaks who do you call where do you get it we're going to talk about all of that in the next few weeks and i'm super excited about all of it all of it i really am so we're going to go down there and talk to Ricoma face to face we're going to look at some of those machines we're going to video how the machines work. We're possibly going to interview a couple of the employees down there to give us some inside scoops on the machines and make sure that if you invest in the machine, you know what you're getting into when you purchase a Recoma. All right. And then we'll go forward from there. There's a few other machines I would like to film and video and let you guys see how they work and the perks and the awesome things that go along with those. So totally, totally, totally excited about all of this. So let me go back because you guys did some totally awesome emojis for me. I see a mermaid, Miss Marianne. Things are going swimmingly. I love it. I love it. Debbie Wilson is loved and Suzanne Go Grand Go has the a laughing face. So we're going to have some fun with her tonight. So Crafty is nursing a cold. I hope you feel better. Please, I hope you feel better. Marianne says she cuts her hair off too. <laughs> we got more love faces and um, megaphones and diamonds. Mm, we like diamonds. <laughs> um, still vertical. Thanking God for that. I appreciate it. Hello from South Carolina. Welcome Tammy's Everyday Living. We appreciate you coming in from South Cacalac. Gloria Coleman from Arizona. Jill E, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Nashville from M Blackwood with all the diamonds. So, of course, Nashville with all the flashy. We love it. <laughs> Sharon M, hello. How are you? Leela says she cut her hair short two months ago and love it. It's free. Yes, it was. But we're not going to get into that. Diana Bishop, hello from California. I'm thinking of cutting mine too. I'm not even mad. <laughs> I need to do that. Uh, Carol Coleman says, I agree with the resting when you come back. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> Stacy G says, loving the hairstyle. Thank you. Heather Butler, my husband, is sitting behind me in our craft room. He has a 3D printer, or he has 3D printers. He has me turn my speakers up so he can hear you. He loves you because he says you are so positive. Well, thank you, Heather Butler's husband. I definitely appreciate that. A little jealous about the 3D printers. I've always wanted to play with one. So one day I'm gonna sneak and get me one. We ain't gonna tell Mr. Laurie about that though, but um, <laughs> welcome to our live chat. We enjoy having you here. And if I'm not mistaken, they'll have 3D printers at the NBM show too. Pretty sure I saw one last year. So I hope to get to put my hands on one. So please welcome him to our channel and thank you for joining us to the both of you actually. Sheila Cushenberry says her hair is almost down to her butt, threatening to cut it off daily, especially at 50 years old. Hot flashes and long hair are no, <laughs> are no joke. Man, hot flashes are no joke, period. <laughs> no matter how long or short your hair is, I be struggling sometimes. I'm trying to tell y'all it's a trip. Teresa Jackson, hello, good afternoon to you as well, and thank you. I appreciate that, you guys. My auntie, hopefully she's watching. Uh, she did my hair for me, so I'm gonna have to give her a very special shout out for hooking me up with the uh, unbothered do. So thank you, thank you. Will says, I'm learning something with sublimation, a new process. That's what's up, cool beans. You'll have to share it on your channel for us. Um, let us see, so what do thank you will for posting that link what do you guys think about let's see i'm scrolling making sure i'm not missing any questions i went with melco 10 years ago scooby-doo says because it automatically set your attention instead of all of those knobs it has 16 needles yes it does have auto tension on it i got to uh, see one in motion 
the other day. So yes, for sure. Hey, Glenn F. How are you? How are you? Uh, Willa Allen says she's feeling cool. Well, I'm glad you feeling cool. I'm not. <laughs> I've been taking, uh, having headshots done all day today. So I'm um, wearing several layers of shirts so that I could change real quick. Um, are you anytime? No, not to me. No, not talking to me. Okay, cool. Shayla McKinnon. Eve, I've been having a horrible time with my Epson Style C88 broke down and stopped my sublimation printing work. Mine did too. Um, and it actually had a mechanical failure in my printer and I had to send it back week before last and just got that one last week, but been printing no issues since then. So I don't know if you've been doing updates or not. I know updates have been causing issues with the uh, sublimation or the Epson printers. Um, and then because Epson is coming out with their own sublimation printer here soon, who knows what's actually being done in the background of those updates to try and get folks swayed to purchasing an actual sublimation printer instead of converting a regular printer. Um, but I hate that happened. I don't know um, what you got going on with checking out the sublimation groups on Facebook, seeing if anyone has the same problem and if they can fix it. Or if you get a moment, go ahead and drop in the chat what it is that you have going on with it and maybe we can walk you through it i'm not sure but i know with mine i was having issues with um at first the ink getting the ink to flow um and i want to say it was yellow can't remember what color it was uh, but i had to learn how to purge the printer and that was crazy but i found a video out there really nice older guy he walked you through it and it worked so i know how to actually purge it now but those aftermarkets are you know a little sketchy and trying to keep them operational with the sublimation inks but it can be done and i know some folks that have been printing for quite some time with their aftermarket equipment but i'm sorry you're having issues with yours i hate that um one of the other uh, crafting partners that I have up here she came by because her sublimation act up to acted up too so she's having to get a new printer as well so as that's what I'm saying I'm wondering if it has anything to do with updates personally um, I did see that DIY Dion has a new PE 800 from Lexington North Carolina right down the street technically <laughs> so congratulations on your new pe 800 my dear <laughs> yes pe 800 five by seven in the house congratulations to you and you have a lot of fun with that five by seven embroidery machine you'll have a lot of really cool in the hoop projects to do and shayla mckinnon says she just got a new sublimation printer <laughs> Woo! So we ringing bells tonight, yes! Congratulations on your seventy-seven. Which one did you get? Seventy-seven ten or the seventy-seven twenty? Seventy-seven ten or the seventy-seven twenty? Because I have the ten. I wanted the twenty. Started to buy the twenty, but I'm just gonna stick with the ten. <laughs> um, let us see. I saw something. Chimiko says I have a SE six twenty-five. Opened the box and never used it oh no no you're welcome that diy dion um we're gonna have to get that thing out the box ma'am so that we can have some fun with it there are a lot of really simple small projects that you can do don't be afraid go ahead jump right into it we have several videos if you see a video here on this channel designs by little b those are pretty decent projects that you can do in the hoop and make some really cool things with your embroidery machine and definitely try and give those a shot i think you will love it so i want to go ahead and get into the sublimation discussion 7710 awesome that's what i have and that's what i've been printing on so i have printed out uh, a flamingo design i had a customer reach out to me who has a sister that's an artist in the Bahamas and she paints things down there, um, pieces of wood, driftwood and stuff like that. And when she paints the item, she sells them to tourists that come to the area. 
So what she's asking me to do is make copies of her artwork that she's done down there in the Bahamas and put them on items that they can sell down there in the Bahamas in addition to the actual original artwork as well. So what I've done is taken um, one image, added a little bit to either side. I'm not good with graphic design, but I had to learn uh, some simple stuff and uh, put the word Nassau on there and print it out. So what she's ordered is coasters. So we have coasters here to do. I have the neoprene on the front and the rubber backing on the back coasters. I purchased these from JDS Industries. Uh, so we have those to press. We also have keychains to press. So we have these little guys here um, and that's what these down here at the bottom are for. So it's not to waste paper. I went ahead and printed some down on the bottom and of course we just lay it like that. Press it 60 seconds, 400 degrees medium to heavy pressure um we also have these are for moi to play with so we may play with one of those tonight um justin was actually really nice and he donated some dog tags so we may play with a dog tag or two that has nothing to do with the customer's artwork this is for us to play with um, and I also, for the customer, ordered luggage tags. So luggage tags are easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Um, I haven't printed the artwork out for this yet, but we'll work on that. Now, one of the things that I did do mistakenly was purchase the wrong kind of luggage tags. I got her two different kinds, and I didn't read the description well enough. So I'm going to keep these just to play with. Um maybe sell a few but for the most part i'm not really going to use these i personally don't like them but i got some wooden um looking luggage tags so these have the maple wood look to them and i did not mean to purchase these uh for the customer so tomorrow i'm gonna have to go get white ones uh which is what she's looking for um so we have a couple of these we can play with i actually have a whole box but like i said i'm gonna have to get rid of these things some kind of which away um because i don't want them then the customer also ordered wine bags wine cooler bags or something like that they're neoprene uh hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly i think i am so she wants the artwork i have five five different art designs that i'm editing for all of these different things right so on the wine bag she wants um the flamingo so this design i'm gonna have to resize and make fit this front and back um and then there's another design with turtles on it that she wants on here as well she only wanted two insulated bags I don't know that we'll get to the bag tonight because I'm going to have to like think hard on how to sublimate that. I've never done that wine bag before. And because of the uh, border on it, it's going to be interesting. I want to see how that works out. But the coolest thing to me, um, she also wants flags. She also wanted a canvas tote, which is not in here. Um, it's out in the warehouse, but I'm going to do a canvas tote for her as well, but not tonight or not on live but the cool thing that she did order that i'm gonna do tonight is this which i thought was like totally cool it is a glass cutting board so she ordered a cutting board and we're going to sublimate this now i had to actually take the time read the instructions on how to sublimate this because i had no earthly clue so now that I know how to sublimate that, we are going to sublimate it tonight. And this is going to take three minutes to sublimate. Most of my other stuff is 60 seconds. This is a three minute sublimation um, item. So that's going to take a little bit of a while. And just to show you what I've done for her so far, I've only done coasters thus far. 
so like here's one design with turtles and as you see it's a picture of the um it's a piece of wood there that she painted those two turtles on with the coral and the rocks right so it's a long picture so what i did was shrunk it down and then added a top and bottom so that we could make it a square to fit on a coaster so here's one of her artwork uh, pieces and then we have this one with the lighthouse and the birdie and the boat is also one that we've done and i put Nassau at the bottom of that one as well for her and then this one is another one of her designs that I've done in this one she wrote Bahamas down at the bottom of that picture and had to do some creative editing and whatnot to get this into a square as well so we have that's just three four of the six five or six designs that I have for her so that's what I'm looking to do with you guys tonight. I hope you don't mind um, spending some time with me sublimating so that you can see the cool things um, and how they turn out. I have yet to do the coaster. Let's see. Did I even bring the coasters in here? I probably didn't, y'all. I probably didn't even bring the coasters. I should have brought the coasters. They're probably over here in this mess somewhere. So I'm going to look for the coasters oh yeah i did here they are because i showed them to you the stack of blank coasters so we'll do four coasters one two three four starting out and then down here are the three keychains we'll do the three keychains as well all righty so um you can see that working now i am not going to do the coasters and the keychains at the same time why is that i'm not because the keychains are thinner than the coasters right so there's a possibility that if i put these keychains that i have misplaced that one that i had out already so if i put the keychain on there along with this it may not squish and put enough pressure on the keychain to get the image cleanly onto the keychain so we're not going to do them at the same time but I am going to go ahead and do the coasters. And here's another. I'm tripping because some of these coasters I've gotten and they have dirt on them. Not feeling that at all. I'm not about to send that to my customer. So I'm going to have to get those replaced. And if you have any questions, I'm going to be kind of like slightly browsing the chat uh, to answer questions. So let's see we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna cut the uh, keychain part off of the part with the coaster squares and i'm not gonna stab myself trying to catch the luggage tags that were sliding off of my lap all righty so i'm gonna leave that right there so i've cut these off and I'm going to tape the coasters to the paper, okay? Now, I'm not able to like show this to y'all because I didn't wanna move the camera around too much, but I'll show you as soon as I get it on there. So here I have one coaster that's laid neatly. As you see, there's a smidge of overlap. I purposely created it that way so that I don't have to worry about white spots or white strips up the side of my coasters. So I make it just a teeny, teeny bit bigger. And then you have the same issue with JDS, yeah, with their, especially the shirts. Heat tape, which all the heat tape, the sublimation paper, and some of these blanks are available on Amazon in the link in the description below i do have a sublimation supply list in my amazon store where i'm an amazon affiliate so if you click the link and you shop in our store um we get a small kickback for every sale that generates from our store so i'm going to take the time and go ahead and put all of these coasters on this 
page at one time so that I can press all four at once. And then I'm gonna show you some something else really cool, which Will probably already has. Now, some people use um, spray adhesive to attach their sublimation blanks to the paper. Um, I have not purchased a spray that has worked without too many issues yet. So one day I'll have a spray, but right now I don't. So that's why I'm using tape. But I kind of like tape anyways. Tape is a little bit better. Kind of reminds me of duct tape because it fixes everything. Um, you want to try the wine bags? Yeah, she ordered that and I was like, oh, yay. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, no. So hopefully I can get it done without ruining it. Uh, because it doesn't take much to mess up sublimation. I swear it doesn't. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right, so I am taping on the very last one. And as soon as I have it on there, I will show you what that looks like that's pretty much my thinking wheel but i've had some folks that swear by the spray so that's why i was going to try it hey steffi h how are you i just saw that you came in and said hello i wanted to greet you back all right, so here are all of the coasters taped. I only taped two sides. I haven't had any issues with only having two sides taped. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay this face down just like this on the heat press with butcher paper up under it and then paper on top. And I'm gonna let this stay cooking for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. So let me see yes you guys can see the heat press and boom so 60 seconds from now we will pull that off and well dread what did i do with them my mom bought me something and I was super excited to show y'all and now I don't, they ain't even in here. I bet I left them out there on the table. You know what? Let me go get those because I have learned that it is total awesome sauce to have. Let me see if this will reach. Hopefully it will. Sorry to be leaving in front of y'all. Y'all know I don't like doing that. right I barely reached it Yay! hopefully I didn't unplug I'll check in a minute 14 seconds left yes I'm still plugged up Dollar Tree these have saved my hands especially for things like this where I like to go ahead and pull it right off of the heat press Alrighty, so we snatch that off, snatch that off, and I snatch this off. We do a lot of snatching around here. I throw that into the trash bin that's right there, and we have coasters. And make sure there's no tape. And this lets me show you the mess that sublimation can make this is why we have to put the oh let me i'm gonna show you the coasters but i'm gonna set them down so they can cool off first after i move that out the way i like to i have a glass table so i set them on that glass table so they can cool off but this is remember the coasters were face up and the paper sublimation paper was face down and i had a little bit around overlap 
around the coaster and that's why that ink square is there because that sublimation ink is so potent that it will stain the bottom of the heat press all right so i can take my gloves off now because um i've done the coasters and we have a visitor who is here come on in whomever if you're here to kill me all these people will see it <laughs> so here's the coaster how cute who is here i thought my area was bad my whole like area is bad yours is like a tornado mine's is a hurricane but i've never seen that like that are you coming in here talking to you no I'm, I'm not i'm just i'm just saying what it looked like <laughs> I hate it, Justin. Justin, I come to crash the party. Yeah, and I put that light. Just take that light off. I had to put the light. We were doing uh, headshots earlier. So here's the coasters because um, the people down in Florida wanted a headshot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And it was time for some updated ones anyway. Delco, I mean Deco. Mm -hmm, yeah, Miss mm -hmm, Laura, mm -hmm. Delco. I mean, yeah. Let's see the interview. Let's see how y'all did that. Did you bring goodies to sublimate? No, no. Just set it on the floor. That's I, all like. Just set I it on the floor. I was supposed to do that, was I? I don't I know. I saw you, something in your hand. Yeah, I, I was gonna bring you the stuff that I messed up on. Oh, yeah, on sublimation. We like messed up stuff. Because you told me, hey, it's only, and then I did it, and everybody's saying you're gonna get addicted. Okay. Let me show y'all what I messed up with. So you're not you're not addicted to the sublimation no, yet. No, you you know what I, I I think that I'm going to be once I figure out all my tools. Okay. Well, we're sublimating tonight. Once again, and then I told my mother. I said, "Oh, guess what, ma? I think she came to put me to work." No. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mm -mm. We uh -huh. don't we don't put people to work uh -huh. around here. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have some more fun. Let's sublimate more stuff. So more, all these folks are saying, hey, Justin. <laughs> and now we sublimated the coasters. These are the coasters, okay. Mm -hmm. The flamingos. Yeah, and then. Oh, you already did this now? Wow. Oh, yep, yeah. and I just, you I did, did these, these earlier. Now? No, 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 these were these earlier today. Okay. Yeah, those are just now. And I so gotta. Are these white? Yes. And. There you go. Okay. Okay. 400. Okay. No, oh, 400 60 seconds. seconds. Yeah. 60 seconds. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 What is your pressure? Um, that... Right now, I have my pressure on medium. We are going to. Did you bring um, a license plate? If yeah, not, yeah. I have. I think I have one somewhere. No, I, I, brought, I brought some. Okay. Because we're going to look I, at the I, license I, I plate. I needed to see. Yeah. A prior engagement didn't seem to like and then now you're talking and now oh yeah i brought some stuff but i, I, I mean mine but i showed what you seen how mine came oh, yeah. out wrong okay so let's talk about that real quick before i put these flamingos on oh i thought you was going to eat something new oh, so okay. the this is a license plate cover or license plate thing that justin did and he says that it's wrong because the the this is supposed to be black it's and it's to be super green. Dark. Right. So like I this. think it was. No, no, it's supposed to look like this. You see the difference between the darkness? You see how black that is compared to that? That's that true. look like washed. So to me, that's pressure it is. and or time and or heat. So my question would be what heat temperature was it on? I put it on 390 because i didn't know the variation of how okay. my temperature so was. at least 385 and then i i did um i i didn't do medium press i did uh uh light press okay I did so do that. it should be heavy press and then what time how long i did 60 seconds like you said okay so 60 seconds was great so all of those factors together are what make a vibrant bold um sublimation print so let's do I didn't bring another one. I, I, I didn't bring another one of those. License um, plate? Yeah, no, I brought two license plates. I mean, you didn't bring another, I didn't one, bring of another one of these. I just wanted to show 
for you want to try it? Like, wait a minute, you want to supplement? I, I just want y'all to see that I have problems too. But did and you want to try it? No, can we reprint that again? I mean, press it again? Yeah, wait a minute, is this the one you pressed? On that one, yeah. Oh, you know, you don't want to press it again. Oh, then I don't have enough. Mm -hmm. Do you have it in your email? I don't think I sent it to you. Okay, all right. Well, we'll figure something out. We'll do We'll do something else. But I bring a shirt because I don't have a Mr. McQuacken shirt. And I need to have a YouTube Mr. McQuacken shirt, a YouTube, and a <laughs> so next time I come on, did, I can I be on what, it. I Somebody said McQuacken something shirt. about coming here and getting put to work, but it sounds like I'm being put to work. No, I'm going to have to figure this out. I don't know. I got to think. I'm getting that vibe, y'all. Are, are you getting that vibe, too? Am I not worth a Mr. McQuacken shirt? And I bought the material up from my own. So at any rate, we're getting ready to do these keychains real I'm quick. Sober for breast cancer. <laughs> we do need some. We need a McQuacken's uh, yeah, breast cancer. Mind, you know, no, a hoop. No, we did a hoop group breast cancer shirt last year, but we didn't do a sublimated one. Okay, we, we need to figure that. something out. We can do that. Though. So here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the coasters. Right, we're gonna tape this on to the, oh, for the dog picture. Tags. Oh, no, these are keychains. Oh, key yeah, I need to do the dog tags, but the nice. dog tags are for us. Wait a minute, is that I yeah, right side up? I love these. So I wanted to make sure this was right side up with the hole, so that when she's carrying her keys, the flamingo will be the right side up. Let's not make that mistake again. So now that I have that on there, I'm gonna tape it down, and then. Hey, Justin, couldn't see to answer your text the other day. I was at the eye doctor all day. Who, who, who did I text? Mm, Bickham. Oh, hey, hey. Beck, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, squad. I'm sorry about that. But I, anyway, we'll talk later. <laughs> My face, what did I do? <laughs> I think I'm getting fussed at. <laughs> yeah, when you see, I, I told you about that before. That's what all right, so I taped the first one. Let me move this out of my way. Dollar Tree, we gonna talk about that in a minute. I was excited about that one. I was one. excited, no, I just read on it. I was excited, and you can take one of these because I have more out yonder. I lost my mind and bought a bunch for nothing. Let's not talk about it. Y'all know how I am. I have no restraint. Oh, you know what? Did you need fix this. Did you I'm gonna fix the microphone too so that they can hear you clearly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I have it on me. I didn't realize we was having company once again popping up out of nowhere i, I do apologize ain't nothing wrong with that <laughs> just next time bring something to, to eat drink. i gave you my mama cookies last week i know when they, good? they were excellent i was tripping because you know i'm not a huge fan of peanut butter but them was bomb <laughs> okay, and see no, no, no. other folks was touching my oatmeal cookies i wasn't happy about that but mama, mama told me to me, share. My mother told me not to bring you the milk because she, she's going to make you some. Oh, they're but, they're if, if, if that's what I think is the truth. Man, then at the same time, I got to apologize to you later on. Too. Apologize to me. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Why is folks feeling like they got the bug? I don't care. Mm. And nothing, nothing bothers well, Very little bothers me. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. At the same time, I had to tell my mother about it. She told me that. And I told well, you, actually, I no, need to I need to fix something else that you said because something oh, you said oh. is incorrect. What did I do? Nah, that's a personal conversation. Okay, yes, I'm not yes, doing yes. that on. All right, so yeah. On live. Um, All right, so. They like these, these two right here. We ain't wrapped tight. We not. It's sad. That's right. Okay, sorry for taking twelve years. I like to make sure. So Especially being this is for a customer. That See from from them too because See that shifted. remember when you was telling me about how uh, when you was doing your father's uh, no look and you needed to have that heat tape. Yes, that's what happened when this was wrong. This is why this shifted. Oh yeah, because I didn't put the tape on it. Yeah, you gotta have shifted. the tape. Yeah, you gotta have something. Because, see, when you lift up the heat press, the pressure, the suction from it coming up is going to move the paper. But Irregardless. this is never centered. And it moved when I put it down. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. Meaning that this wow. is centered, but it, when I put it down, it, it shifted. shifted. Yeah, yeah. It shifted. Yeah, that'll do that, too. And these were from Dollar Tree as well, so I can take stuff off the heat press and not get burned. 
Oh, like the big red glove you have with the. <coughs> I, I'll put it on. Oh, wait a minute. No, I need paper. Which paper? I put that paper. Oh, your parchment paper? Mm-hmm. He disturbing my flow, y'all. Oh my god. I don't god. want to be part of the flow. I'm, but you already know I would have gave you the. One down on the thing. Oh Lord, now I'm blocking them so they can't see. No, Hold no, on. No, 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 Hold no, on. No. I, I, I want to be an assistant. I'm a glorious assistant. Very. Yeah, what, what there you, you want are. me to do? This Here is you are, my, my sir. Kind sir. This is going down like this. That is correct, sir. And then one more on top, sir. Is you shifting my stuff, sir? No, 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 okay. no, 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 because well, the center. It is center. Okay. And pull it down. Thank you. Ta -da. That's maybe impressive. Uh, for me, yeah. Wow. We're gonna see. As soon as these suckers come off in fifty-one seconds, we'll know if the pressure was adequate or not. So whenever I do sublimation, especially for an order for customer, I always get one extra of whatever it is that I'm pressing so that I can test it first and make sure that everything is going to turn out the way it's supposed to turn out because it would suck had this been a order of one and there was only one, right? So yeah, it's stuff like that that's frustrating. My is like really waiting on me. <laughs> Here, you want the gloves or you gonna do no. the manhandling type no, stuff? No, I want the gloves. I'm not stupid. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't believe in burning myself if I know this one. That's good to know. I learned from that license plate. I dropped that thing on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, no, no, we not touching that. <laughs> I know that. I can't yeah. tell y'all how many times I go I'm to pick up. I'm that. like, I can touch this with my finger too. Yeah, no, mm -mm, no. It's 400, hot. 400 degrees is no joke. So let me go to the uh chat i will i have an embroidery job i'll start this week says scooby-doo um marge campbell says it takes practice now i have two machines and a 15 needle um can embroidery be done on those wine bags yes could well actually i'm gonna say no you can peel it off or pick it up well, or, i don't know what you want me to do I, yeah peel them off just, just peel them off mm-hmm Oh, see, mine didn't feel like that. Oh, no, because it's Those are pretty. Oh, my God. Look at how vibrant. You want to show one with your glove? These things is hot still. I know. Don't yeah. drop that on me. Ain't it pretty? See, it's, it's that glisten. Gloss, like yes. That. Yes. Yeah, yes. Crazy. Crazy. Love it. Love it. This thing is Trying to tell you. Now, if you'll set it on that table, the desk, or Pete, wherever the glass is exposed, if there's a place. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, that was fine, too, because we're going to let it cool off. Um, I just saw, I look forward to some of Mom's oatmeal raisin cookies, Miss Bickham says. It's already there for you. Create your better life. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to go backwards in the chat, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I gotta go tell the man behind you I was kidding. Love you. Catch you later. Teresa Jackson. Okay. I don't know what you was kidding, but we all kid all the time around here. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, not you. So the person who asked, could it be embroidered? I'm, I'm going to say no. And the reason why is because of the way the seam is made on here. It has like a cover on the seam that's like glue. Well, no, it's not. It's just the way it's stitched down. So you would actually have to redo this seam and tell them hello. No, that's my mom. She said hello. And um, put it back on. So if you can do that, yes. You can take it apart and embroider it. But as far as embroidering it on the embroidery machine without taking it apart, that's not going to work. Even on the multi-needle machine to answer that question. Oh, this is what you was talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got to go very early appointment in the morning. Good night. Good night, Kathleen Dowling. Thank you, thank you. Good darling. Um, hi, new to your channel. Sup? What, what's up? Levite Apparel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We are sublimating today, tonight. Um, 
let us see always check your hard blanks sometimes they have a plastic covering on them he did so the license plate cover did have a covering um see it took me a while to learn that but the yellow is the covering and he knew to take that off but you, you know how i figured that out because at the same time i do big signs and what they have on one side they have this this coating that they protect one side that we have to go that we put all our vinyl on and so okay. when the light permeates through it you don't want that part to be scratched up so okay that that made common sense okay can a sewing machine perform embroidery stitches technically yes the problem the difference between the sewing machine and the embroidery machine is the embroidery machine has an arm that moves the hoop for you automatically so that the stitches fall where they're supposed to be in order to do the embroidery stitches but a regular sewing machine you would actually have to move freehand move the fabric to get it to stitch the design that you want uh, to create out of embroidery or out of the stitches on whatever it is that you're embroidering so yes a sewing machine can perform embroidery um, yeah, but it's manual so um i had answered the phone so i missed this whole first part i had to wait and replay our show <laughs> okay no worries we would just we um let me see if they cool down enough and i'll show you guys in the light okay cool thank you so here is the one side of the keychain for the flamingo mm -hmm. and it is still quite warm come on babe focus and as you see it's a really nice glossy so we started out like this and we put the flamingo on there like that that vibrant color is totally awesome it's gorgeous well, that's actually a big difference from what I did. right so again pressure time temperature makes all the difference in the world with your sublimation right so and the cool thing with these guys they come with the hardware that goes with the keychain so we'll be putting all of these together but as you see this whole bag i have to do keychains and all of the different artwork designs that she wants with them so i'm gonna do front and back this, oh. this is double sided yay fun for me but yeah, i got paid to, to do it so that. it's okay you yeah, know <laughs> You wait, what did you say? Uh, nothing, because I'm going to be here helping you. That's what you said. Oh, that's, you that's so nice. So the dog tag is one-sided. So as you see, one side is aluminum, one side is white, so that we can sublimate that. Now, a really cool thing I want to interject in here um, that I came across you can sublimate is these cloths from Dollar Tree. So these are washcloths and they say microfiber and as you see right up there at the top 100% polyester. So these are definitely great for um, putting sublimation designs on a picture or whatever. 11 That's by 11. I should have bought first to try out before mm -hmm. I did a $5 plate. Uh, that was $5. Stop. Okay, we're not doing that. So, um, <laughs> you, uh, yeah. These are awesome to test and to try and to play with. And if you're interested in getting into sublimation, I have the link below Amazon with a lot, most of the stuff that you'll need to get it done. And the cool thing about these is that's four in a pack for a dollar. So that's 25 cents each. And once you put whatever, like the kids soccer team and the kids soccer number to, or a picture of the kid on there, easily can sell it for two two bucks for them to wipe their sweat or whatever they want to do with the towel so these little little rags are great for sports fans we're finding out i'm i'm seeing in the groups on facebook and these are great for sublimating on really easy to do so we'll sublimate one of those before the end of the night tonight so we've done the front of these keychains i need to work on the back of the keychains and i want to cut at cutting i mean print the cutting board that's going to be a lot of so fun for the three that we got right here you do you want me to set it up for i don't have the printout for the back of it thank you and then so on top you. of that i need to find out from her because she didn't say what she wanted on the back i don't know if she wants flamingo front and back or if she wants flamingo on the front and that's all on the back i don't I know think that's on the back, i know? would think so too but guess what i'm that's finding right, out I that folks we don't, we don't got we don't have to think that's so one yeah. thing I don't do is thank you, people. Thank you, Jaleel. 
home girl you can embroider up high on it yes you can i apologize so yes a good you know what that's not a bad idea if you sublimated it first right and you got it to the color that you wanted it to be and then put a monogram right here so to the other person i'm going to apologize i should have mentioned or made clear yes up here you can but down here is going to be a lot more difficult thank you my Bickham for pointing that out for me and i got like completely behind in the chat i just need y'all to know that i apologize Bickham. you and Scooby. justin are gonna make me get into another hobby what hobby is that sublimation you don't even understand that if she the one that got me into that and you know how long it took me it didn't take you that long it did because no, i don't even do it yesterday and i did it last night just to find so find what it, yeah friday no i did it friday night I still wanted to do what the young lady said about the cutting board on the 651. No, no, just hold on. But the, the thing is, is when I did that license plate, it's not to say I wasn't discouraged. I was just like, oh, what did I do wrong? And so now, well, because I barged in again, um, now I get to see, y'all get to see what I did wrong. And I just said, I'm not doing nothing else after until I find out what's going on. Yeah, well even still because somebody just pointed out shayla pointed out she hates how big her prairie is and it is a behemoth because you do run out of room by the time you finish buying all these toys and then you're like i don't have any room i don't have any space but you your printer is smaller than mine yours isn't as wide oh no no that, that, it, it's still it's it's, 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 it's as tall it's, it's right taller, but all my stuff is my television i got a television my 42 inch then that printer then my 32 inch computer in my four. Yeah, but I have a long base though. My base is longer than yours. Yeah. Mine's is almost twice That's as true. long as yours. That's it's true. It's twice as long as yours. So I got everything sitting over there. And yeah. on this one wall, that's where uh, the vinyl is. The, the, and stuff. Uh, right. And the, the vinyl's on that wall. But yeah, it's big. Yeah. So well, I you got the other room. machine over there on that other wall. Yeah. Where I and then your heat press on the outside. And um, you know why I did that, right? No. Everything function. At the same time, I get to my computer, I cut it out, and at the same time, I go. Oh, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. The flow. Uh huh. That's the feng shui. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Blackwood says, "What kind of heat press are you using?" I have the ePhoto INC 15 by 15 off of Amazon, and it is in the link in the description. I have had zero issues out of my heat press, and I've had it for. You know, I don't even know what model mine is. Two years. Oh, yeah, no, I know, I know what model mine is. Um, and Kathleen Dowling, that wine bag came from JDS Industries. Is where I got mine from. Um, thank you, Dawn's World of Babies. Your hair is awesome. Thank you. you I appreciate it. I told you, I told you your hair appreciate was gorgeous. it. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, heat resistant gloves have skeleton hands on them. Oh, mine don't. It's just dots because I got them from Dollar Tree. We can put skeleton. Uh, yeah, I guess I could. No, we Thank you, Karen Wheeler. Teresa says, tell the gentleman to quit interrupting you laughing out loud. We want to learn. <laughs> That's why she was saying, tell him I was just joking. That's hilarious. Everybody knows Justin is cool. He can come and crash the party. Scooby-Doo, I sublimate charm necklaces and get lots of business from them. I have seen the charm necklaces. JDS does supply the charm necklaces. I haven't invested in them yet, and this customer didn't ask. They got actual silver charm necklace as well as like a charm the, like bracelet. You know, bracelet, mm -hmm. but I didn't, I didn't see that. Yep, they got the necklace. I know too. I want lanyards. That's what I forgot to get. I have some lanyards. Now the I think. Lan the key lanyards where you can put your keys on. Yeah. Them I think I got some. In, that's my sublimation case. I got that's all a sublimation kinds. case. Yep. Oh, Everything no, in there is sublimation one, stuff. No, one well, I mean, oh, I've no, been that, going to use drawers, but I got to get to the reorganization part. And I'm going to do that when I get back in town. Once again, I told you mine. And even then, like you a trip. So I'm trying not to be invested in, but so much. No, <laughs> if, you, if, you got, if that's your sublimation case, I will want you to have something a little bit bigger that you know that you can have it in. Will says license plates are 400 degrees high pressure for a minute and 15 seconds. Wow. Create your better life. Hey, y'all. Hey, create your better life. How Thanks, are you? Thanks, Will. Yes, thank you, Will. Um... Let's see, I already said that wherever you purchase your blanks, you should have instructions for that particular item. Uh oh, look like I'm staggering. I apologize, y'all. 
Um, good night, Suzanne Go, Grand Go. Anita Ware, that is heat tape. So this is heat tape. And I purchased, I purchased, uh, there's a link for the tape in the description below. Um, and I purchased the holder and the tape off of Amazon. Child, Amazon feeds me everything I need. I love Amazon. Um, what? What about it? Where did you get it? Oh my God. Did you pay that $12,000 over there at JDS? So at any rate, Teresa Jackson, JDS oh, we already said good night. Like, oh my God. Terry Ponce, hello. Anita Ware already said hello. I was reading your message to somebody else. Um, let me catch up. <laughs> we all make mistakes. I know. Okay, I answered that. Um, Levite Apparel says, I just got the Epson 7710 for my channel and looking for inspiration. Just subscribe and smash the like. Thank you. Ugh. Press the like. Press the like button. We appreciate like it. Button. We like appreciate it. We love to inspire around here. We like playing with new toys and playing with new things and teaching folks the best way to get the best results. Which one? The messed up one? Is that what you want? Yeah, because it didn't hurt my feelings. What it was is I looked at the video when she did my umbrella that I still don't have. And so I said, well, hey, guess what? Because she said it, I could do it. We all Ain't make it nighttime? We all make mistakes. When I say I think we it's all nighttime. How do we get shade at well, we night? Shade. We, no, that's, that's a team effort. I think I heard some shade. No, it's not. The thing is this, I messed up. On an umbrella. We Are like, you kidding me? We like what happened. And we was told exactly what it was. Uh, I still ain't got my So it ain't in rates. <laughs> Happy RM27 says, yes it is. Don't know what we yesing about, but it's okay. Um, uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. You can get socks to practice on from Dollar Tree too. I think it's socks in that in that thing. What you gonna call it? I mean, I'm gonna because I gotta get an apron. apron. Guess what I got today? Oh, guess what I got today? I got cleat covers today and sweatbands, headbands today. Sure did. No, they came in the mail. No, what? And then at six. Not today. Yesterday. But then when I was like, oh, I want to get sweatbands, and it was like uh, sweatbands and headbands, and it was a dollar something. And then when they told us we had to go over there, and then we went up to fourteen dollars, I was like, no, I'm good. Yeah, no, I didn't get them from there. No, no, I'm just saying. Oh uh, yeah, 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 no, I found a uh, buy-in and bought some. I need some. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I have. I think I've only got two though, <laughs> and then I got two or three cleat covers. I can't remember. I mean, so yeah. Um, do you do a lot of embroidery? I see a lot of thread. Yes, this is primarily an embroidery channel. Why is my phone not charging? Okay, yes, so it, primarily we do embroidery around here. Um, you can sublimate license plates too. Yes, you can. Um, but I normally on my license plates, I normally do vinyl ones. What I do is I print it out. I mean, not print them out. I cut them out with my plotter and everything from there, each, each color, and and put it on the license plate. And I enjoy doing that. But once I found out about sublimation, I, know, so I wanted to try it. Right. It, it is, it's a gorgeous thing. It's, it, it's two things that goes about it. At the same time, I love doing vinyl because it has so many textures to it. Sublimation is printed on. It feels like it's a print. True. And, and, and that's that's the difference. And the uh, my phone is about to die. It no, it's about to, and I don't know why it ain't plugged up. But at any rate, the vinyl is supposed to be back behind the thing, and I don't want to move it because it'll knock my laptop off, which is crazy. But at any rate, you thank you, Sheila Cushenberry. Appreciate you noticing that too. Um. The no, I had it so that I could make sure I could read the chat. So I'm just gonna have to okay, keep up so with the chat. Saying. But Lisa Thompson, I appreciate what you're saying. She said, One more thing check your electric bill after using your heat press for long periods of time. You left your press on overnight. I'm thinking of getting one or two solar panels to offset the bill. That would be cool. I need to get a roof first, and then yeah, it would be cool to put overnight. some solar panels up there. Yeah, you're gonna have to turn it down though. Thank you, appreciate you. Oh, it's so sweet. So the um, solar panels is a good idea. He has a storefront though. So the storefront, yeah, it has a power bill too, but um, it's probably not 
you know a big of a deal for his heat press but yeah mr larry wasn't too pleased with the power bill this last month but he'll he'll have to be okay because ain't nothing we can do about it now thank you miss carol coleman i do appreciate this super chat as always we appreciate the support of this channel thank you kindly very very much <laughs> we definitely use it to play with toys and stuff around here to teach you guys how to sublimate how to embroider how to vinyl how to bling how to what else this is a beautiful channel i mean i'm, I'm very once again like i said before i'm, I'm very uh, happy to be part of what you have going on and not only because of the embroidery and the vinyl and the sublimation this is a multi uh, uh asset of understanding how many things you can have going on and yet somebody else will charge you i mean like literally it costs thousands and one ten thousands and stuff of what we what we do and by us cutting out and saying what we need to say and showing you different things about this you don't have to go to school for it so that just saved you the 25 30 thousand because you can look at the the the, the youtube <laughs> well, watch us here tell you where we get it from how we got it from what did we do and at the same time just like what we was telling you about i just messed up and i told you it's five dollars for that play is these are the things that we go through that a lot of people don't understand or but they don't want to tell you because they're trying to keep it away from you because they want to just make all the money. We, yeah, it's please. a lot of money. We can all eat. Yeah. I'd rather tell you. And we don't play them games yeah, around we, here. We we share and share alike and definitely appreciate any support that's given um, because it does take pocket change to get everything together and make sure things work like it's supposed to. to oh yeah. But y'all see how he kind of slid that in to make up for that shade and no, being all sappy I mean, all of a sudden. I mean, I don't so yeah um <laughs> no i'm i'm kidding he he's justin is absolutely correct um and not to get totally off track he did help catapult a lot of the business that came through here um and because of the mutual support that we do for each other's business and just because we we get a lot done around here and it's a lot of fun when you got somebody to craft with which is why we came up with the hoop group so that you guys could all craft together and we can focus on what we love to do the most which is crafting and that's the whole point in this channel so we appreciate everyone um that joins us on a regular basis as well as the new faces that are in here we were up to like 108 earlier when you first came in in the room yeah, yeah it was crazy last monday i mean when i told i told you last monday we was already at a, a thousand views and i was like did you see how stupid. close we are to twenty thousand subscribers i i, I just want to i was trying to be here for the 15k and you didn't do the 15k no but, but i'm definitely being for the 20 i'm telling y'all i'm now, scared I'm gonna have my hair done at the same time i'm gonna have like a, a big mcquacken balloon <laughs> 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 when you gonna get a mcquacken balloon who am I? Oh my God! No, he and, didn't. I mean, no, Not. but you know me. At the same time, I can make something out of nothing. That's true. That's true. So That's true. we ain't even talking about Mr. McQuaid. I'm trying to tell y'all, 20k is gonna be on and dangerous. popping. I'm actually scared for my pocketbook because I already know what I got planned for 20k, but and I, it's I, gonna be crazy. I am so happy for you. Oh, Thank you. No, like out of nowhere, this is just boom. Yeah, it and did. So it did. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But I know based off of what you said earlier, a lot of folks are interested in learning how to do what we're doing and be profitable with it or be successful with it or both. Actually, we just so have fun. And that's the key thing. We want to have fun. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. It Even was though fun. I messed you up. Sure? I, you sure? I, I don't care. Because you fun. sure didn't look fun no. when i came i was like what's wrong with no. you i mean i have fun i designed it i made everything from scratch i we enjoyed make me one. making a mistake and i can tell her you know what i messed up i enjoyed it because this is what we do why the duck levite apparel um there's a couple of reasons for the duck so mcquacken is my mascot whoops i don't know what i just knocked down oh my you bottle um mcquacken is my mascot and he has been since the very beginning and the reason for the duck is because we wanted to make sure you didn't have to get that deer thank you though 
Um, the reason for him is we wanted to be sure that folks knew that the baby's booty, the name of the business is totally um, innocent, a lot of fun, and it, it was originally all about babies. So what I started out doing was baby apparel. Matter of fact, when I met you, I was like, you know anybody you know, baby bibs. showers and bibs and stuff like that. But it grew from you know, there. So I needed patches. Right. So <laughs> like what ended up happening was not very many people wanted baby stuff embroidered. They wanted patches and hats and polo shirts and logos. And, and it was like, OK, so the baby's booty, yeah. you know, type yeah. situation. So it's going to switch to. Uh, more education so that's why my, me ducky is there and him's a exclusive ducky so that's why the duck i love my ducky mr mcquackens is a gangster um yes all of us newbies really appreciate this channel thank you miss ethel smith i appreciate your super chat as well levite apparel says 20k what a dream just got 181 so it comes it's coming you have this i never planned this <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't plan this. I didn't even know she had a YouTube channel. Now, I did not plan this. This was this was not planned. I never in a million years would have thought that I would have reached 20K. My kids, dang show sure didn't. <laughs> My kids complain. Well, not complain, but one I know in particular started a YouTube channel. And then when I hit like 3,000, he was hot because he was like, My channel ain't even that much. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, once but again, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. Ms. And, Smith, and then when thank I did, you. I was like, What? Yeah. What? You got a YouTube channel. Because it's easier to teach people and let you see what's going on. Speaking of which, we just doing a bunch of talking and ain't sublimated nothing. All right, come on. Let's so go. crafty, go. thank you, Will. Congratulations. He says he's close to 270. Myself is crazy. Maria says, Justin, you are so funny. I wish I knew more people who are interested in embroidery and sublimation to get them to subscribe to your channel. Justin doesn't have a channel. Oh, I don't have no. I I, I am the baby's booty. I am that dude behind the. I'm the dude behind. Thank you, Nedra. I don't, don't want to. Thank you so mind. crafty. We appreciate the super chat. Thank y'all. Y'all must know that I, I need all the help I can get on the way to Miami. <laughs> I think this somebody. Somebody. I was talking to somebody. they were like, Miami is expensive, and I'm it like, is expensive. You think Miami ain't expensive? Okay. I'm used to cheat in North Carolina. On my phone real quick. Let me go and do a super chat on my phone real quick. <laughs> you are so silly. DIY Dion, you are very engaging and entertaining in your videos. I appreciate them. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see what we are going to sublimate, y'all. I'm going to. Hey, what should we put on the license plate? I don't want it to be McQuacken. Even though, you know what? It need to be a McQuacken license plate. I don't have one. No. Can we put it up and here? then I'd be done blinged it. No, okay, oh. but then we can put it up there. So oh, yeah, that's true. It. That's true. Here it is. But you got to put YouTube and McQuackens up here. Okay, we will put YouTube and Sir McQuackens. So, so every time we, every time I we am working. working. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, babe. Let's oh, see, insert yeah. page. I am working behind the scenes on microsoft publisher so i can't see the chat right now even though it's right here on his phone because mine is about to die um and this is oh so when you go to sublimate usually um the company that you purchases purchase your blank from has templates that you can upload to your computer and then fit pictures in the templates especially if you use uh, photoshop but I am not proficient at Photoshop, so I have to do it the old school way and just pull out the tape measure, measure the size so it's that we can five, make I mean, sure. It's 12.6 12, six off gate. And all you do is do 11.5 to 5.5. He said it's what off gate? Yeah, 12.5. I mean 12.6. I'm messing with you. Uh, I, I already know so what we have that. And then what did you say the other side was? It's six inches. Okay. It's 12.6 all day. Right. Now what so you do 12, is, now anytime I go and design anything on a license plate, I only do eleven point five to five point five. It fits on there and that's what I make my little square as and I'm good. Okay. I'm sorry. That works. <laughs> Because I keep it simple. Well, I mean, that works. I don't because I don't do license. You know, you do license yes. plates. Yes. And license so plates are very, I don't. very profitable. Really? 
People still from do the them. ratio of what it costs. See, to get I remember charged? those from back when I was a kid, I, but I, not I, now. I'm oh yeah, wow! Same time I'm eating, and I charge thirty dollars. So, Ooh, yeah, well, it's custom. That is, that's some good marketing right there. It's custom. And so it's you, you see how the difference is. So now when I paid five dollars for that, I was like, uh huh. It's worth it though because yeah. I don't really have to do the extra that I do on there, and I had to talk to just like DJ Styles. Um, I got to give props out to him. Um, he had talked. He had told me what he was doing, and then he he had to understand the difference between supplementation and when we do vinyl. What, mm -hmm. what it, how can we balance it out? Because in your head, sometimes it doesn't make sense. Right. But it all makes sense because your design time. Is longer compared to when you do the vinyl. I needed to make sure that um, people weren't saying I was messed up. Um, I'm sorry, not messed up, but um, it wasn't the oh. signal. I can't talk right now. Okay, okay. so there's McQuacken. And now we need to insert um, the other picture. You said YouTube. Oh, uh, see, that's I, I knew I would start lagging. I knew I would start lagging. Will that's because I'm doing stuff in the background. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna stop. Thank you, Levi Apparel. I appreciate I that. Yeah, ugh, that's irritating though because it's okay. We, we, it, everything is growing. I probably should have. Um, we got all the other stuff. We can go ahead and do that. And you know what, what though? Is those license plates are still here. We, they already know that we're going to do Mr. McClacken's and, and YouTube. Because huh? I, I hate it costing much. I was going to say because we could, no, we we could do that one and soccer. repress we, it we, again. Because huh? no, I mean, you well, can't repress. But, but it's just. It's going to be off. So uh, we don't know where it needs to be centered at because okay. this is already crooked anyway. What we can do is go ahead and print something for the Dollar Tree tiles. You have two license plates, and we 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 can have McQuacken. What else here. do I have? I gotta have something else that something I didn't. Print. Yeah, that's just normal. Cause I wanted to press some stuff. Just Sorry print. for lagging. Carol Coleman asked how much of the license plates. Um, let me get you a decent price on the license plates, ma'am. Cause <laughs> we five. ain't paying eleven dollars no, around here. Five. Oh, five, five ain't too terribly bad. I thought you said what? eleven. I thought you said 11. You have to understand, you're buying sublimation blanks. And they're, sublimation blanks aren't super cheap. You'll have some. Like, for instance, I got these on clearance, right? But they are not sublimatable. It's easy. You got to coat it with uh, poly. Poly coating. Let it cure for, I think they say, three days. And then you can sublimate on it. So I got these, I think these were like 20 cents each or something like that. No, 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 50, 50 cents each. And they're about the size of a business card. It's only one sided one sublimation one. though. Yeah, they were in the clearance thing too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I also, oh, Will says that they're three nine three fifty nine at Condé Systems. Ooh. But you gotta um, pay shipping. Well, I mean, how many kids Condé. Do you see, Will, just call me, we, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk. And then I got these. These are pretty. I got gold ones. So I'm excited to sublimate on this just to see how it's going to turn out. Um, and it's got, these got a coating on them too. What was the minimum too. order that you have to purchase for that? This? Yes. It wasn't no minimum. I could have got so just one. one? Mm -hmm. So that, that that's one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about when we have to order some things in the catalogs of, of certain companies is understanding how many that we have to order is there minimum or anything from there so jds is who i normally order through and they have really about, um 14 different warehouses across the country um so i order from these guys because they're local here in charlotte and i can go pick up conde systems is an excellent resource for sublimation blanks as well conde is better suited for those who don't have a business uh, resellers account right so you have to have a resellers license yeah. in order to purchase from JDS whereas you don't need that from my understanding from Condé systems I could be wrong will correct me if I'm wrong 
kids blanks there are some yes um there's also nashville blanks or something like that there's a place in nashville um yeah i like that gold back into thank you janet mckinney hi janet mckinney um so they are um jds is one of my favorites actually mainly because like i said i can go pick it up yeah not at all i was looking for okay here's license plates right here now some company some things in here the vapor apparel you have to buy by the case but everything else you don't have to get by the case it's just a proper understanding of it when you talk to whoever you're purchasing it from just talk to them so you the first thing you ask can you buy it individually then the second thing is they say no and you got to buy it by the case so then you'll know right that's the difference because i thought that one thing was one and then they come to find out it was a case and they say oh it's 200 dollars." i said oh no 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 we don't want it um, you talking about the dog tags? Oh, my life in place. Oh, yeah, no, 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 And then no, at the no. same time, I'm thinking one number was a different. It's, it, it's just the proper information that I give out. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And so now yeah. when you've got a four-pack of towels from the Dollar Tree, right. I'm like, why did why did right. one of my license plates when I could right. have this for 25 cents? Hey, you want to test out resubbing that on there? I don't think it's big enough. It's not. Okay, so we don't care. No. We'll just, but um We already have sixty seconds. Make sure you put the daily paper up under it, the butcher paper up under it. Underneath it. Uh-huh. Okay. So that the side the part that overlaps doesn't get on the heat press um thing. I'm trying to find the frames. The uh the license plate frames because I found one and it's um I think it's uh UV uh Yeah, there's a couple of them actually. So one of them is 493. I know that. But there's also another somewhere in here that's hidden. It's out of place in my opinion. Um and I was going to see what the price is on that. Oh, here it is. UV 310 12 by 6. It's 30 in a case. UV310 is... Let's see how much this one is. $53. UV210. $2.05 a license plate. So you might have got the other kind. Yeah, no, this one is UV, UV 210 and it's $2.05. 12 by 6. Okay. Yeah, it's a So when you shop, call and let me know what you're looking at and we can make sure you get the better price. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I know what I paid. I, I may have picked the wrong one. At the same time, I mean. You don't need it for Conde. Okay, cool. Coastal Business is another. Conde is technically retail. See, and I, yeah, Conde is great for larger quantity. If you purchase 50 license plates, they're $3.25. For these guys, what did I say? 53. I only bought 10. Hold on. Well, I think you could have got a deal on 10. Oh, whoops, mm -hmm. wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. Is there any money artists there? No, I'm not. Yeah, for sure. UV 210 if you get okay so there's 30 to a case so no you wouldn't have got a deal off of 10 but if you buy a case of 30 they're a dollar 85 cents each we bargain shop around here oh did it fit I, I follow instructions oh neat well. it looked like it fit cool Look at that! I hate you! Like, honest to God! I told you! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say I told you. But, Beth, yeah! Beth, this is... So, so even the first... It wasn't enough pressure. It was not enough pressure. It wasn't enough pressure. This is so... Pre now I'm so excited now. Oh my God, Jesus Lord. You can have that. Well, I mean, no, I'm gonna give it to her. Yep. 
Because I got to give her the apron. I mean, my, my cousin, the, 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 the things that I do is I like starting, I mean, anybody who's starting a business, it, a help lot of them people want to think that it's a lot of money, but it's really not a lot of money when you can deal with somebody who is willing to help you. Yeah. And because of that, I am that, that's what my business is based on undercover. I don't tell a lot of people what I'm telling you right now. I just make stuff for people so when they start a business, they can have a, they got a shirt, they got um, business cards, and at the same time, if they need a banner, I'm, that's what I make an initial because that's what you need to start a company. It right. doesn't cost much in the beginning, but as you grow, don't Things forget about Things start to get me. more expensive. Right. Don't forget right. about me because right. I, I, did, I made everything comfortable and at the same time inexpensive for you. So now when you get your big sign that costs 10000 hey, don't don't forget me. <laughs> don't forget me. To go ahead and do the sign. Because this little thing right here started everything. Yeah. That's all I was asking. And that's why I love doing what I do. That's why I love being around the people that I'm around. I didn't even now, think that was going to work. This is a repress. That's a second. Because this is the original. So this... And sublimation this is two days ago. Sublimation paper was pressed twice. Two days ago. This one was pressed. And two days ago, that's when we so, did it. So, mainly because enough ink wasn't transferred, it, the pressure wasn't high enough. So, when he, when, when you know you got a good sub off of a, off of a printout, you can see it's darker around where the actual substrate was not touching the picture so it's darker which means that the inside that's lighter that ink was sublimated or it transferred into the fabric or the hard surface and it sublimated and turned into a gas and was absorbed by the poly coating or whatever it is or the poly fibers so you look for that if you press something and you don't get that change in your print then you might want to turn up the heat or you might want to increase your time or you may mostly want to increase the pressure. No, literally yeah. it's different now. Yeah, because it was subbed and it looked like we might could ink, sub it again. But the ink was in it though. Yeah. That's my fault. I mean, once again, we talked about mistakes. I mean, this, I am very, very happy with not enough pressure, not long day. enough. Yeah, not a lot of that was oh, used. Look, no. You can see that there you go, right there. You see the difference. Right, exactly. Okay. So okay. now you can see it. Yep. And it wasn't a difference before. It wasn't. No, you, you see the darkness. I Man, stopped doing crazy. hair after 30 years and I need a new project to take up my time and make a little change in the process. Yas. Well, I mean, and the cool thing is it's not difficult, especially sublimation not hard you need a printer that you can convert in the sublimation which there's a link for that below the cartridges the ink that you will need to switch it over convert the printer that's in the link for amazon below as well um all of that plus your sublimation paper and some blanks to play with i wish i had a brought um mr laurie's cup because i made a i sublimated or an a anniversary cup, cup. Yeah. yeah sublimated that a was cup beautiful um i haven't done a mug yet i have a mug out there well i can't print nothing out without yeah. tan up the dang uh feed <clears throat> i'd have if i do they will be out Did no because i would have thrown them away by oh. now um, yeah. what in the garbage you want to check no oh, okay because they, they didn't get supplemented i know so I'm sorry we didn't get to sublimate the the glass cutting board because I can't I don't want to mess up the, the string. Yeah, switching it over to print out the thing. I need another printer. I mean, and I should have brought my other laptop. That's what I should have did, and then that way we could have done everything. But at any rate, that is what it is. So what I'll do is post pictures in the hoop group of the glass cutting board so that you can see it um it is 9 41. three hours again no two hours wait a minute seven eight eight 
to ten. Yeah, no, it's not doing three Don't hours tonight. Don't forget about the uh, MBM show. Don't forget about the cruise. Don't forget about the uh, Florida. I will. You got a lot of stuff. I told him once again, and you know I talk to my mother a lot. You once again, you got a lot of stuff going on. So now, yep. In 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 the, in, in the babiesbooty.com. Yeah, all that stuff is is there. And like I told you the other day, it's about to get crazier. It's about to get crazier. So, um, real quick, I'm gonna let you guys know a couple of things. So, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's a very that thing gonna smoke us out of here. I told you about last week. I said I jumped in here, especially at 400 degrees. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. Sublimation is very hot, and you got to have a good, solid, dedicated um, plug outlet for that heat press if you're gonna be running it at 400 degrees. Um, Don't be, don't plug it in with a heater. I've done that and tripped the breaker in here. I don't know how many times. Um, matter of fact, I had a 220 outlet changed over for my heat press so that it would be the only one over there plugged in. Dollar so, Tree. Dollar, Dollar Tree to the rescue. Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. You can make you some, some real cool stuff. Um, so, this week is Florida. I want to let you guys know that. So, the Deco Summit is this week. Um, I, I have one request. What? Miss Laura, while she there, da 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 da. Deco. Thank you very much for bringing you on, but I just want one patch, and I need Laura to sign it for me. Oh, well, you talking about uh, when you make the patches down, down there? Yeah, yeah. I, I need her to sign one for me. Well, I, I'm I only planning to make one. I'm not well, doing no no. Oh. no 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 no. And I might not um, use the machine in the class. I don't know yet. We're gonna work all of that out when I get there. Well, um, just sneak and, and then make one for me, and then Miss Laura's right. I mean, her signature. Because she's doing a good job, and, and then they still got 200 people. And yeah, Laura's they, awesome. They're giving a machine away and everything. I know. This I know. Crazy. They are giving away a machine at the Deco Summit to anyone who attends. You get in a drawing to win the um, machine. Uh huh. So one person is going to walk away with an embroidery it's machine. Only 200 people. The this instructors is- can't can't it, put in for the embroidery machine so we ain't getting it i, 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 I want to go but that, you already know i gotta run my bitch i don't care I, i'm mad so yeah that's yeah. this weekend you would have a lesson then i would have had one if i would have oh my god you know that would have been cool man. that would have been cool <laughs> then we have other stuff coming up next week but the cruise is still on and going strong um we've sold quite a few tickets i mean a ton of tickets we've sold so far there is still room on the cruise the custom craft cruise that is going to take place may 18th 2020 uh so may of next year we're going to be selling out from port canaveral to the bahamas it is a four night cruise it's a very quick cruise uh, but every day on the cruise there will be a class that you can um take so there will be um vinyl class everything dealing with vinyl now we couldn't take a heat press on the cruise ship so we won't be doing like t-shirts or anything like that but we will be doing screen printing we'll have a screen print class we'll have a um digitizing class with so art we'll have a digitizing class with in brilliance um, I will be having hosting a So What Pro class, teaching some things on So What Pro. Um, then we also have a soap making class that was requested. So we have that on deck. And we also have quilting coming aboard. So we have a quilter instructor that's super excited about coming to teach. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in the cruise, the cruise is May of next year. Go to customcraftcruise.com. Let me see if I even have that um, to open up on here. No, I don't. So I'll have to type it in for you guys. Um, but all that information is on the Hoop Group. So at this website down below is where you can get most of the updates and the information. The babiesbooty.com. You get your passport on Thursday, y'all. Thank you, Christy. I appreciate it. Um, So the cruise is coming up. Super, super, super excited about that. Also, to let you guys know, 
um after we come back from florida from miami this week we will be uh adding chroma digitizing in the video rotation here on the baby's booty channel so i will be teaching digitizing classes on this channel so be on the lookout for chroma classes um the cool thing about it is although it is based on that software program you will still be able to take a lot of those principles back to other digitizing programs if you needed to but we also will have a link for you to purchase chroma um, as well and chroma is a digitizing program that was um, started by Ricoma down in Florida so we're going down there to get the first hand look at their equipment at the digitizing software it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of fun um, and we're gonna be meeting a few other pretty well-known youtubers down there um, and hope to get some interviews going on for you guys so that you all can see that too so very very ecstatic about a lot of the cool things we got going on behind the scenes here at the baby's booty studio so you please be on the lookout um, for several announcements that will be coming after we get back and um, i'm looking forward to definitely um, meeting each one of you that decides to go on the cruise with us don't do that! Oh my God! Don't do what? No. Nope. Anyway, so hey, how y'all doing? All I uh, said Deco, was for those who were. At the same time, I know you love my Miss Ev and everything like that. Can't wait to see her. At the same time, I do want to give you a shout out because at the same time, you have been doing an awesome job, and we appreciate that. Yeah. You needed to have yeah. somebody outside to know. That we watch videos and at the same time you did a good job. So if you don't think that, as she said, it, taking accountability, if yeah. it don't go right, she said, "What's well, it going to go?" Yeah, right. oh, it's okay. going to go it's right. It's going to go right. Yeah. And at the same time, we believe in you from the baby's booty because you love Miss L, and I'm part of it. Love you be, too, I'm Christy. behind the scenes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> do you exactly. ever use pillows on your heat press? I do. Um, matter of fact, I just bought some. I need to put them in the Amazon store. I what love them. Um, 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 they got the, the, the uh, phone? polyester uh, pillowcases. Yeah, no, no, no. She's talking about the pillows for the heat press. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. that long one up there. That's a pillow. Even though it's kind oh, of flat. You, I don't that's use why it. That's why you see why I got the out of it. That's right. You use towels. Use yeah. Towels. yeah. He used towels. And JDS suggests towels, too, actually. But do you see um, how many prints is on them? You see how many? I test yeah. my towels first before I do it, and I keep yeah. using them. But I do use pillows. I just started using pillows, actually. Hey, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Um, Yeah, Debbie D, it's going to be really cool. So I am going to wrap up with you guys this evening because I thought I was going to be able to print out more stuff for us to sublimate. Um, but it ended up dragging on the computer and I don't want to mess up the stream for you all and then be buffering and all of that cool stuff. So looking forward to you guys coming back again to join us here on the channel to do some more sublimating. Um, I don't know. Next week is probably going to be more question and answer and not really too much of a theme because like I said, I'll be coming in from out of town. Um, and won't have time to adequately prepare for a show next week. So, but I appreciate, oh, Matt uses foam board. So foam board, somebody else uses I had, yeah, I got on the heat press. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody asked, register now for the craft classes. You will be able to register for the craft classes come um, definitely November the 1st. I'm hoping sooner than that. I need to make sure each and every um, instructor has their paperwork filled out and completed and all of that jazz because I wouldn't no uh, no that's for the crews. Yeah. I wouldn't want to put up a class for an instructor and then find out later that they don't have their room and stuff like that and then got to go through the hassle of refunding. So what I probably am going to do is go ahead and put up the classes that folks are completely prepared for because there are um, only a couple of folks that aren't prepared and then that way you can go ahead and get tickets for the paid classes if you wanted to take the paid classes um and then you can go ahead and purchase your tickets and 
go on the cruise. Why are you stuffing that I, in I, your I, shirt? I'm not doing nothing. You talking to the people. <laughs> Anyways, I got a whole box. You can have them. You see how folk treat me? You see how folk treat me? You know what? Y'all, I need y'all to have a good night because we finna have a talk after we hang up on this thing tonight because folks is in here acting monkey in the studio, right? So we don't do monkey. Well, actually we do monkey. Monkey is fun. But anyways, thank y'all for joining us this evening here at the Baby's Booty Studios and learning all about sublimation. We look forward to you guys joining us again next week, which will be a question and answer session on probably embroidery or anything that you have a question about and also ringing the bell for anyone who gets new babies um i look forward to meeting anyone who is going to join me in miami this week i am totally excited about that looking forward to videos on that as well as some other cool stuff coming down the pipes i, I just want to tell y'all so bad but i can't so at any rate part is y'all don't even know that i don't know none of this Every time she said it, just like when she told you something new, I knew just there. I'm like, why did she tell me? Tell you me know this. I didn't know. I, oh, okay. I don't know what you told You about. should know this. Okay, then I, it's pipe, down the pipeline. I don't know. What I she don't tell me because she know I got a big mouth. He ain't got no big mouth. So at any rate, thank y'all for joining us this evening. I'm Eve. This is Justin, who joins us and crashes the studio from time to time. This is the most you've ever been on. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, I, I appreciate it. I apologize last week with the cookies. This th Today is only because my stuff didn't work. And then oh, I, your plate. And then I showed you, but I mean... It, when I have problems, I want y'all to see that we have problems. Yo. I mean, we, oh, we got really tons of problems. problems. Prior to that, me coming over here, I didn't know she did some like coasters, and then I'm like, oh, I had know. problems with the coasters tonight. Matter of fact, look, here's one. I cut the boat off. Let me see. Look at the, the boat ain't supposed to be that short. Where's the original? Oh. See the boat on the side. Just, look at how much of the boat, boat that you see. Yeah. Oh no, it's a sailboat. Oh, that looks right. like a canoe. <laughs> That's because I cut the sail off. It's a canoe. Right? Yeah, I messed up. So no, I mean, it, we do whatever, screw no, up. But it do look like a canoe when you see this other one. Right, and I'm not about to get that to that lady. That's her artwork. Look, look at the look at the difference. Right. Whoop, whoop. That's the I messed beauty up. of. I, I so there are always the mistakes. Yeah, that's the beauty of what 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 we do. And at the same I should have showed that earlier. No, we just we we be making mistakes, and a lot of people don't ever show you. YouTube, the people who are on YouTube never really show you the mistakes. They just show you the finished product. We like, wait a minute, I messed up. Yeah, no, I got to show y'all the I mistakes. Show you because the thing is, I got a good towel out of it too. I learn from my mistakes. Look at the towel. Look at the towel. I learn from my mistakes, and I want you to learn from my mistakes so that you won't have to make the same mistakes. So that's why I try to make sure that you guys see the full picture and learn from me as I grow and we grow together. So that's the whole point. Hey, we learn. We learn together. And I'm, I'm very, like I said, once again, I'm very privileged. And I'm glad that you allow me to break my mistakes. And then you fix them. So I'm going to get off of here because nice talking ain't going to change the conversation that's, with, that's ooh, about to go ooh, down ooh, ooh, ooh. in the trap house. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I appreciate you joining me. Thank you to well, all the supporters. Minutes, so give me 10 minutes, so give Thank you to minutes. all the supporters and the folks who donated to our channel tonight. We really appreciate any and all support that you give. And to anyone who may have donated behind the scenes on PayPal, we always appreciate the support appreciate to this channel. Everything. Yeah, You're for really sure. Good. For sure. No, no jokes on that. That's oh. the gospel truth. So I appreciate you guys. I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And maybe a little bit later because, I, as I mentioned, I'll be coming in from out of town. Uh, but definitely we'll have some good information to bring back to you all from Miami. So look forward to seeing you all the next time. And until the next time we see you, we want you to have happy embroidery. Happy embroidery. <laughs> have a good night, y'all. Bye.